and showing shit. I chose not to, but now I'm out here walking with the football team, picking up trash. But I'm mutt nuts. Man, get out of here, man. I should leave. I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutt nuts. Man, get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers ain't even clean my goddamn office when I got here. I'm mutting y'all. Get your ass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's fucking trash. What are you talking about? I need no goddamn donors to come out and help out because people just want money. That's why I don't, have, that's why I don't fuck with social network. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Uh, so that was the first uh, Kick this off Right This shit, that's took, what this shit off. took a whole bro, a That's whole what kicked off So apparently somebody had asked Or said something on his live about it Like right. said something on his live And made him like made go him off like off. that yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was I mean what he's saying Look man <laughs> What he's saying in my opinion is is facts Right here And you might not like his curse words I don't care about you cursing at all I curse You curse Like well I could care less about you cursing to me, that just shows you passionate. Um, now, we're going to listen to what the dude say a little later in his <laughs> rebuttal about against the, this. The dean or whatever. Right. But what he's saying is true, though. Why Why is he out there picking up trash all over the damn school? What? How is that? I'm so confused. They don't have a fucking, like, department that cleans? A custodial, custodial like, department, right, right. They don't have that? I don't know, man. From what I hear, this uh, this school has always been a mess. I love his passion, man. But just off this video, and I'm a big Ed Reed fan, man. I I, I don't think he should have done this like this, man. Agree. Like you, Agreed. you don't got the job yet, and I have, and you trashing your employer. If I was an employer, I'd be like, ah, right, bro, I can't hire this guy. Now, everything is saying is 100 percent correct. It's not gonna twist him. Maybe, maybe, bro. Maybe wait to get hired, bro. Get hired first, get your contract, and then maybe go. What? Out. But he, but this could have been handled internally. Like, listen, this is like, why is my office like this? Why is the school like this? Why is the trash everywhere? That should have went, you know, behind closed doors, man. That should have been the first way to do it. For change, it's probably moving too fast for a lot of people. I'm not withdrawing my name as they saying. They don't want me here. They do not want me here because I tell the truth. Yeah, I've never had this many people here in the recruiting time and coach, I've been saying that. We've been here at three o'clock in the morning sometimes. It's hurt because I know people don't care about these kids like I do. And they should be the ones leaving, not me. Because I don't want to. Why? Because Jeremy Greaves, who father I looked in the eye. And y'all mothers and fathers who I talked to last night, even though I knew they didn't want me. I took $2,400 out of my pocket and still gave it to the host. To host these young men. Shit, at this point, I'd do it for free. Because I have been for the last three weeks. That man had to. He drove from New Orleans. Because he believed in me and my bitch. And that man right there who flew from California less than two hours and got off the plane. And he was here to see the rant. He got off the plane and what we started doing, young man. <laughs> yeah, I curse. Yeah. And y'all done heard curse words before. And they got parents in here. Facts. You no, know I don't want to leave. And like I told y'all, I want all these recruits. But they got some corrupt people in this world, some evil people that don't care about kids like I do. So I want y'all to hear the truth from me. I ain't withdrawing my name. I got the receipts. They got it. All kind of stuff going on around here. Hoarding these buildings with nothing but trash in them. You understand me? And Dion was right. And I know I'm right. And they got some people in here who be snitching to their ass. <laughs> and I work with much Judas as <laughs> Judas. <laughs> people in here be snitching to their ass. Be snitching to their ass. <laughs> Each facts, I'm sure he does have a few people in there that's uh, working behind the scenes, my man. snitching every single. Oh, yeah. he did this. He you said this. He did. Know. But just off of that, I'll. We're not gonna play the whole thing. But just off of that, like, this is him basically saying, because they came out with an email or a letter. Hey, he's withdrawing his name for being the coach. Da, 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 da. He's saying no. 
I, I never re- like put my name in to be withdrawn, whatever mm-hmm. the case is. I never did that. So he's explaining to the, the the players and their families or whatever the case is, the coaches, hey, that's not what I did. They just kicking me out pretty much. I didn't say I'm leaving. Give his side of the story first. He's giving his side pretty much. Um, And I don't have – listen, they're saying – this guy is saying that you will see him say – I saw him on talk that it was like it's a Christian school or this and that, and he and he's cursing, cursing and this and that. Hip hop, everybody, mix, come on, hip hop music and booty music. Nah, and that don't don't get it twisted. I do agree <laughs> that if you are in that position as a leader, a head coach, some of that shit kind of goes. Yeah. The cursing, I don't have a problem with. That's part of that's part. You're gonna hear that shit in the locker room all day. You're an adult. You're gonna, hear, you're gonna, gonna hear that as an elementary the, school in the streets and playing pop yeah, Warner on, football on TV, man. Watching a movie everywhere. That, that just cut the that cursing, shit out. I don't yeah. care about. Now the playing the booty moves, music the and all, all that, that stuff. That's, that's and a, there's some. St- I I got a problem yeah. with that a little bit. Yeah, just, because now you're you're bringing yourself. There's a Here, certain with standard, them. yeah, you got to... They can listen to it, but just don't listen to it around them. Of course, yeah. Because that's now bringing you here, and mm-hmm. they're going to see you as, oh, okay, mm-hmm. you know. No, you always want to stay here. Always. That's what Dion does. And he's I, cool with you, but he, he makes sure that respect is like, no, is it, yes, sir, yes, man. Da, 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 da. He keeps it up here. He's, we're never on this level together. I'm always up here. The coach is always up here. So I do have a problem with the music. He didn't do things right. Now, I still, as BC, would never have got rid of him because it's Ed Reed. Oh, man, at that point, they kind of had to, man, after that rant. I wouldn't have, bro. I'd be like, you know what? <sighs> this was the reason that we had trash over here because of da-da-da-da, but I'm not getting rid of him. He came here to do a job, but we're going to try to assist him do the job, blah, 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 blah. That's what I would have did, bro, as that school. I don't know, man. The way he was trashing him? Ugh. I fail you. This man is going to bring in attention. He's going to bring in money. He's going to bring in this. You're winning everything else over here. You're going to bring in recruits. Your team actually is going to get a little better. And but they just, I guess they, they just, they pride. They're embarrassed. They yeah, they're, they're pride. pride they're embarrassed. That's what it came down to. But forget that. I'm winning everything else over here. Yeah, you trashed us or whatever the case is, but we winning, man. No problem. We it is what it is. We'll yeah, fix it. Sucks. Suck. So you bring in obviously a dude that's that. Gives a shit about these kids, man. Or uh, with Ed Reed. So we, um, as you know, uh, about Sunday a week ago, we, uh, well, let me back up. Actually, starting in December, we were working on a contract for uh, naming Ed Reed as the head coach. I interviewed Ed, and I had three important things that I asked him to ensure that he was willing to do as part of becoming uh, part of the Wildcat family. One was... I needed him to really understand that we were a Christian institution, that behavior and character were clearly our priorities. And I asked him if that was okay with him. Could he abide by that? Could he, you know, position himself as a role model for our student athletes as well as for the university itself? He indicated he would. Second question I ask is, well, great. I'm glad you're willing to do that. I need to know if you're also willing uh, to build the kind of program Uh, that will allow you, because you've not been a coach uh, before, this is an opportunity for you to be a head coach your first time. The university is giving you an opportunity to do that. And therefore, we want to surround you with the kind of people that can draw up the X and O's and help you become a stronger coach. He said, I get that. First of all, so they want to pick his, like, coaches and stuff around him? Is that what he's saying? I hope that's not what he meant. And then he that. said, I get that. I'll do that. There's like, no way Ed Reed would be like, yeah, I'm right. I, I was I'm thinking chance. that too. So not I'm going to be chance. the head coach. Bethune cut me. Who was basically, come on, man. Let's fuck out of here. It's Bethune cut me. No money, so y'all no going to, it's not like you going to Alabama or some shit and he the head coach. You're going to Bethune fucking Cookman, bro. You probably had five coaches total in that school. And man. you're going to surround me and tell me who I can have as coaches and, and do X's and O's. Like, I don't know X's and O's. There's and no way. Ed Reed. What? No, 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 no. I'm okay. confused, bro. And I'm willing to do that. The third thing, as I said, this is not University of Miami and it's not the NFL. Uh, we just came through two hurricanes, $6 million worth of damage. Much of what we've been working on for the last year and a half is – improvements not only to the university's infrastructure, but also a long-term investment plan. We have about $100 million that we need to invest in the university over the next several years. We said to him, look, you're going to become part of that. Are you open to helping us do that and build the program? He said yes to that. 
So when we saw the first video uh, criticizing the university and saying, well, it's trashy and my office is dirty and all that, first of all, he was an employee of the university and he had not an office. When the last staff moved out, we started renovating that building. Let me say already, I don't, just off of that, I don't like him. Had, he had not an office. Just off of that. <laughs> Just off of that, I don't want to even hang around that motherfucker. He had not an office. Okay, fucking Macbeth. Everything from the coaches' rooms to the other places. We had given him some permission um, that he really took to the next level. First of all, he wasn't authorized to even take video. He wasn't authorized to do any of those things, but he did them anyway. The university had to take responsibility for that because it happened. But quite as kept... You know, that isn't the kind of behavior that we would expect. And then the expletives and the, you know, those kinds of things in that first video, you might call that an aberration. And I would say it could be. And you have to be a forgiving individual. But when you have this much damage, you look at the gym and you look at this video and you look at it critically. But I would invite anyone to come to our campus because all parts of our campus don't look that way. Um, Whatever. So... He's pretty much saying it's the hurricane's fault that the trash is out there. It's the hurricane's fault that some of the buildings have trash in them. Uh, I, I wouldn't doubt the hurricane played a part in some of that shit, but I would go as far to say that shit was probably fucked up before the hurricane, bro. I would say so too. Did the hurricane not come through and fuck up a lot of people's yeah, shit? Like, that, I, that's not a valid excuse. We're landing on yeah. Bethune? That's not a valid excuse to, for this shit. You have $100 million. $100 million. Where, where is that money going to go, bro? Where do you think that money's going to go? Half of it is going to his fat ass's pocket. He had not put it in had, his. Had not. He had not put it in his pocket. Um, I feel like you have a hundred million. Why? Why are the players and the students and stuff coming out saying they got mold issues and, and shit? Like he's like, oh, it, it's not mold. It's, it's, it's mildew. It's mil- some of that you've seen is mildew. <laughs> okay, dickhead. Mildew. Okay, what are we doing? That's it's fine. the same it's damn thing. Mildew. Bro. It's the same thing. Dude saying they got to play with mildew and mold and shit. And they helmets, and they share helmets because they don't have enough, I guess, helmets to go around. They share helmets. That's the football team. Now we That's get, the football team. The team that actually give them money. Right. The team that brings in money the for this institution. Mm-hmm. The football teams, if you guys don't know, is, is where the, the money comes money, from for yeah. every single fucking college filters, or university. Yeah, filters every other sport. Every other sport filters off. So they're money. the money makers. Mm-hmm. They don't even have good practice equipment and this and that. They got mildew. They say they got wherever they put their stuff. It water is leaking in and this and that. You have a hundred million. How you ain't fixing this? I'm just confused, bro. I feel like. Ed could have handled this in a different way. I wish he would have. I wish he. I would've. wish he would have been a little bit more professional. That's the right word. Yeah. And you got to act a certain way. You're the head coach now. Now, if he was a player doing that, whatever. But he's the head coach. You have to act a certain way. You have to know that people are going to look at it a certain way, no matter if you like it or not, man. That's just the way it's going to be. The cursing, I don't have a problem with. But you don't. You, you can say this behind closed doors, though. You have to know they're going to feel a certain way about you exposing them. Of course, yeah. They're going to feel a certain way. But, but yeah. Thune, you got to do better. They do, man. It, the people getting fucked the most in this are the kids, man. The kids yeah, in that school. of course. Because, bro, in two months, this is all going to be forgotten. Ed Reed's gone. Nobody's going to give a shit. And, and they're going to still be schooling the fucking school in Mildew. Anyway, guys, let us know. We appreciate you guys, man. See you next time.